Well, hello, Digimon fans here. What are you doing, you stupid Well, hello, Digimon fans. Today we're gonna speculate again. Yes, we're gonna make another theory. Yeah, most likely we're gonna do that. But we're gonna talk about Genai, Maki, and Hackmon, and Maikumon and Maiku. So, let's concentrate on Genai first, because there's a big plot point here if you know the Digimon history. Um, even the games, if you know the games also, but also the history. So let's concentrate on Genai here. Uh, I made a theory back in March, and I'm, yeah, I can't get enough for pointing this out. I, I foresaw this, I had a crazy theory about Genai being the bad guy, and I kind of was right, but I don't think Genai actually is the main bad guy. So, listen to this. If we take a look at this episode from season 1, uh, Piedmon is actually fighting uh, Genai. And here we can see that Piedmon is putting a black spore in Genai. And that's that. It was never explained later what that was all about. It was just placed there, as we saw, and never mentioned again. Until an audio drama actually confirmed again about the black spore. They did still not know what that was all about. It was just placed there. Getting me thinking that maybe this Genai was the Genai that got the Black Spore back in Season 2. Therefore getting the Genai corrupted and maybe this Genai is not evil on purpose but he was forced to become evil because of the Black Spore. He became corrupted because of it but it not, did not trigger before recently. Uh, what do I think about Maki? I still think that Maki is one of the original DJ Destined. Um, I think that she had a connection to Genai and maybe Genai contacted her from the first group because, yeah, they know each other that much so Maki trusted Genai when he approached her and told her about this big plan and even though it's a corrupted plan she might just think that it's a good one because she doesn't know better. So I think Hackmon is actually Maki's Digimon and therefore uh, Hackmon or Jessmon in this case was fighting Alphamon because Alphamon is trying to s restore order in the digital world but Genai has this plan about this and that. Like I said this spore that came from Piedmon uh, that eventually potentially corrupted this Genai had to come from someone else. And if we know the lore of Digimon, we know that Millenniummon actually was the creator of Spores. So that raises another question. Could Millenniummon be the main villain again in this uh, Digimon Adventure Tri movie series? It could most possibly be, because we know that Millenniummon is the creator of Spores. Black Spores. And what did Genai get back in Season, season 1? He did get a Black Spore, and maybe that was also a part of the plan of the show's creators, and maybe those were supposed to be filled in the third season of Adventure back then, if there was a third season planned. It might seem so, because we're getting it technically getting it now. So, all in all, maybe that Genai is a corrupted evil villain in this season. It might just be, but it's a corrupted Genai because he got this spore. So I don't think it's on purpose though. Where does Maiku and Maikumon uh, connect in all this? I think that Maki actually, since she's working with her father, I'm not sure the whole thing around there yet. Uh, for some reason got her father in on this and her father kind of purposely gave her Maikumon so she would find Maikumon and take the plan from there. And they were just planning ahead, thinking at some time in the future they will meet and Maikumon will corrupt the Digidestin and everything around them. So I think this was a plan long in the making. Maybe since the second season, if you know what I mean. So technically four years in the making, most likely, in this show then. So I think that Genai has an evil plan. Receiving messages from maybe Millenniummon? At least Genai does. It's I'm not sure if M Maki actually knows the whole plan here. I think she's just going along with Genai right now. And that raises another question, and like last time I said that Genai was a big bad guy, uh, I'm gonna raise another theory about this. What if we get the return of Ryu? Yes, what if he actually shows up with Cyberdrumon and we actually get to see the battle? Maybe him helping, helping the children out, because I'm not sure if the games are considered 100% canon or a lore or a fable or something like that. I'm not sure what it's considered as, but I think it's considered canon. But what if Ryu actually shows up 
in the end of the movie and like out of nowhere helps them out that would be crazy i'm just saying that's a far-fetched theory right there but what if actually he shows up here because if millennium on is actually the main villain in this uh, story Ryu is connected to this. Ryu is connected to Millennium Man. And if he shows up, I'm not sure if they would do that because that would kind of like destroy the whole thing about the Adventure Kids being the big strong guys. But it would be just so awesome him showing up and helping them out. Man. Many people do not like that character, but I actually enjoy that character. I think it's a cool character and it deserves something. Maybe. Maybe he shows up and they're making a spin-off after this. That would be awesome. That would be incredible. So yeah, write in the comments what you think about this. Do you think Genai is actually good but corrupted because of this dark spore? Or do you think Genai is just a corrupted copy of Genai? And the real Genai is somewhere out there. So um, yeah, write in the comments what you think.